series of Jesus in the Old Testament in Moses' story, and you're going to see him in this mercy seat. This is, watch this. So you guys have seen this, right? Raiders of the Lost Ark. Love the movie. I know you did too. It was just powerful, actually, and it really did speak of the power of the ark. It was, there was a lot of really cool stuff in that. So in Exodus chapter 25, it says, and you shall make an atoning cover of pure gold of pure gold. Remember, he instructed Moses here. He's saying, make this ark of acacia wood and then have it plated, painted with gold, plated, right? But then the lid was to be solid gold with an angel at the the one end of the seat and an angel at the other end of the seat with their wings touching. And that was the place where the Lord came and he sat and spoke to Moses in the mercy seat. And that was in that holy of holy, the holiest place of the tabernacle, as you guys know. So here we are, we're seeing the mercy seat, and you're going to see how it ties into Jesus. Watch this, you guys. This is mind-blowing when you see it. So John chapter 20, but Mary, this is Mary Magdalene, right, was standing outside the tomb weeping. This is the resurrection day, that early morning, right? So as she wept, she stooped to look into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white sitting. Watch this. Don't miss this. And at the head, one at the head, excuse me, and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been lying. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The ark, the lid of the ark where the mercy seat was, where the Lord met with Moses is the same thing here. We're seeing the real thing where it was the tomb, the place where Jesus' body laid, there was an angel at the foot, at the head, and at the feet of where Jesus' body had been laying, which was also sprinkled with the blood, right? The blood of the lamb. This is amazing stuff, you guys. So he shed his blood on that cross, and they carried his body over here, and Joseph Arimathea wrapped his body right here, and the aloes and the myrrhs, and and there was blood, his blood sprinkled upon this place where he laid. And now Mary's seeing two angels there at the tomb, and his body was gone, but the two angels are right there like the mercy seat of the Ark of the Covenant. So here's a cutout of what the tabernacle looked like during Moses' time. This was the, the portable worship center that later became the design of the temple in Solomon's time, right? Well, here, this portable worship center, this was the holy place. They entered right here. Here's the high priest. They would come in this way, and there was the seven golden lampstand. There was the table of the showbread with the 12 loaves, representing the 12 tribes of Israel. And we know that the seven golden lampstand represents the church. And then here's the incense, the prayers that go up, right? And then there was that massive curtain, the veil, that separated the holy place from the holy of holies, the holiest place, which is where the Ark of the Covenant was. So in Moses' time, Moses would come in, he would meet with the Lord, and the Lord was sitting on this mercy seat. Here's the solid gold mercy seat right here. And the high priest would once a year sprinkle in the the blood of the lamb upon the mercy seat. And when did he do that? Passover. (laughs) This is so much tie into Jesus, you guys. This is amazing. So here's a picture of the high priest sprinkling the blood of the lamb upon that solid gold mercy seat. You could see an angel at the one end, at the head, and at the foot of this mercy seat. And that ties right into what the tomb. So what was inside of the ark? Inside of the ark was the Ten Commandments, right, that were cut out with stone by God's finger, that was written by God's finger, and it was the stone tablets, right? Then there was the staff of Aaron, the the staff that blossomed, the almond blossoms, right, showing that he was... Uh, the true, they, he was the anointed of God, right? Him and Moses, the true ones, and when the people were rebelling. And then there was a bowl of manna inside of the uh, ark as well. That was what was inside. And Jesus sat right on top of it on the solid gold mercy seat. And Jesus fulfilled the law, right? <laughs> he fulfilled it. And he was the manna, the bread of heaven. And he did cause that staff to blossom and produce fruit. Remember, he was the vine, the true vine. Isn't that amazing, you guys? All those things were in there. So then we see the ark. Mary comes in and she sees an angel at the foot and at the head of where Jesus' body was lying. And perhaps she remembered it was a picture of the ark of the covenant in the mercy seat where the Lord sat. Isn't that amazing? So the Lord did. He sat up on that resurrection day, sat up, 
There was an angel on both ends, and he got up and he ascended to the Father. And then later spoke with the disciples and walked on that road to Emmaus, showing where he was found in all of the Old Testament. Isn't that amazing, you guys? Hey, click this playlist right here, How to Find Jesus in the Old Testament. We've been doing this for a while now. You want to catch up on some of these other videos. It is amazing. It'll bless your heart. Your heart will burn with God's love as you discover Jesus in the Old Testament. So don't forget, hit this playlist right here.